All right, this was a request on TRA, um, and I know Frederick actually has probably some other stuff that he's working on, but this was kind of an interim. Um, so Brian, uh, no sloppy on TRA, had actually responded with a very similar thought to what, as soon as I saw it, I was thinking. Um, but now I've incorporated the controls into my, uh, my new gesture control. So the gesture file has the swing on, the twist off, the twist on, um, capabilities as long as stab on. I don't think I have that active right now. Um, so it lets you... Uh, do gestures, but because I have that new prop file, I've added two new controls. I'm calling them, uh, you'll need to use a define, and the instructions will be in the in the TRA post, um, but there's going to be a new define for FET263 multi-phase. And what multi-phase is, is it allows for you to do a live preset change. So uh, dual phase is, there's effects for dual phase in my library. Dual phase sabers have two crystals in them, typically like Koran horns, where it goes from silver to purple by him turning his hilt. Um, what I've the request was was to be able to also change like the hums along with the color and the effects um, and the way you can do that is just by changing presets now normally the preset change is when the blade is off but you can change presets while it's on and that's a live preset change um, you do have to set up buttons for it which is why I've added to the uh, prop file for gestures um, and I'm using gestures to do it so the control is going to be while your blade is lit if you want to go forward a preset you're going to hold your aux button and do twist. And twist is a quick back and forth, like a quick motorcycle rev. So it can take a little practice. But I'm going to hold my aux button and twist, and I go right to the next preset. And in this case, I set my preset up to be a different style purple blade with a different font. Now you can also, with this multi-phase, I can also go back. To go back a preset while the blade is lit is you're going to hold power and twist. Oops. I had my hand in the wrong place. So now I'm back a preset, um, and it can take a little bit of practice, especially I'm holding the saber one hand and I'm used to holding it a different way. Um, but now with this prop file and with the define for the FET263 multi-phase, um, you can go through and actually make your saber a multi-phase saber. And you're not limited to dual phase, and it's going to use a different style because it's a preset, a different font because it's a preset, whatever you want, but you don't, you're not limited to the two. So now I can keep going forward in all of my presets while the blade is active. Um, and in addition, what I did is I changed out the font.wave on these fonts to just be that mechanical sound you hear. Um, because when you change presets, it is going to play font.wave. So if you had like a speaking one or whatever, it might take you out of like realism. Um, so I'm just adding a mechanical sound for each font.wave for these presets to be able to use this, you know, kind of more realistically. So I can go ahead. Go ahead, another preset. Go ahead, another preset. Each one has a different style as well as a different uh, font on it. And then you can always go back on all of them. So just holding power and twisting. Um, so if you want to try this out, um, there is. I'm going to have the instructions in the gesture file, which the gesture gives you the ability to do the swing on, the twist off, twist on. Did that one wrong. Um, so that's now going to be, there's going to be the additional uh, uh, controls of the multi-phase, which is while the blade is lit, you can go forward and back in your presets using aux and twist to go forward and uh, power and twist to go backwards. Um, so I know that the, it, it was a request for future OS. I'm sure Frederick will actually probably make improvements on it, but for the time being, this is, it's a viable method to use um, if you want to just play around with it. Um, I'm sure there'll be improvements and everything, so consider this kind of like a first stab at it. Um, and uh, Brian did have the same idea posted. Actually, when I had seen the post, I started thinking about the, uh, from, the from the color change fork, we had the, um, the holding aux and twist to go into the effect scroll, um, so I knew that control was available already, so I decided to implement that control with my gesture file to do the forward and back of presets using the twist. Um, so more to come, but I wanted to share this, particularly for those of you who are asking about it, um, but also for those of you who just want to check it out.